Alright, well, we're still up here. Running around. I think we. Yeah, we get a power star here. Awesome. So there's a freebie for us. That almost makes up for the last star. Almost. 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 Okay. You know what? I don't want to go in there just yet. I don't like that level. Probably my worst level in the game, actually. Which, you know, uh, says a lot. Because I've done pretty horrible in other levels so far. So, uh, let's just get to the top of this mountain, huh? And not get a game over this time. Oh, right. Moles! Ow. Yeah, I was gonna say, don't you understand the severity of the situation? If I stand there, I'll get hit by moles. All of the red coin. Oh, no, not all of the red coins. Some of the red coins are on those mushrooms we passed. Never mind. We're not doing red coins anyway. I just want to get to the top of this place. Seriously? Wow! 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 Seriously, like, come on, really? Like, I'm not letting this mountain defeat me that easily. Yahoo! Yahoo! You tell him, Mario. Yeah, see, there are red coins over there on those mushrooms. It's a hard kind of jumping spot for me, so... We'll be leaving that alone for now. Especially since this level takes some commitment to get the... the hundred coins. Not that other levels don't, but... Uh, you have to do the slide in this level to... to do that, so... And that's something we're gonna want to tackle... by... because it's Stone Star. Let's not fall there. That's what I wanted. Right there. Okay. Woohoo! Alright, uh, you know, it reasonably straightforward, the path up this, this thing. Okay, good. We made that. That cloud guy will blow you off, I guess, if you uh, stand around for too long. Ah, it's never really been a problem. Okay. So here's something. Actually, there's a star, and you'll probably see it. It's under that waterfall. There's a cave there. You can see that. But um, above and beyond kind of everything else in this level, that's going to be the problematic one for me. Because the jump in there is not great. It's not easy. At least for me. All right, uh, I'm going to quit, and when we come back, we'll do other stuff. Hi everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich. Welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario 64. We are gonna clean out Boo's Mansion, I think. That's not what this level is called. This level is called, called something completely different. Alright. It's called Big Boo's Haunt. Which has a double meaning about, you know, being a place he hangs out, but like him also being a ghost. So it's punny, it's clever. Alright, so uh, we're gonna get all the red coins, uh, and also uh, all of, well, 100 coins. And again, the secret to this is gonna be uh, ghosts. Because each of these ghosts is gonna give us five coins, so. See, there's 12 coins already. And we've got three, two red coins, and a blue coin. There we go. Now, if you manage to kill these books, you can get a blue coin for them, too. So that's really cool. I mean, look at this. We've got one room. We've got 21 coins. 
And that is a decent number. If you actually go into that that ghost pitcher, uh, it takes you to a back door. Like a back way out of here. And these guys will also give us a blue coin. So actually, this level is, is kind of chock full of coins. It's chock full of heady goodness. Well, I know that there's a way to wall jump up to the next red coin, but we can get there from the second floor just as easily, so I'm not going to waste a lot of time experimenting with it. Well, obviously, I'm going into the next room now, so... All right. I'm just here for the ghost. Man, that bridge came back fast. It's a little crazy. All right. Four red coins, and why won't that? Come here, Boo! Here, Boo, 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 Boo! Oh, now, now, come over here! Oh, he hit me! Well, if he had knocked us down there, that would not have been a big deal because uh, this is where we're going anyway. So, because there's like another twenty-five coins on Big Boo's merry-go-round. Oh, come on! Yet again, a problem with my controls. There we go. I'm not saying my controller. I'm saying the way I control things. Alright. Yeah, see, that's like a veritable gold mine of... of booze. <laughs> B-O-O-S, not B-O-O-Z-E. Although a gold mine full of booze. Uh, when I was the, when I managed the grocery store, uh, we sold like Louis the Fourteenth, which is a type of cognac in our liquor store, fourteen hundred dollars a bottle. And uh, for a while, we had um, because it was in Milwaukee, and we were the closest store to downtown. Uh, we had a standing order with some Bucks players that they would come in and buy these fourteen hundred dollar. It's like several of them. Like we'd have to special order them for them. We get basketball players a lot in there, which is a little weird for me because like it's just a sport I don't follow at all. So like you could always tell them because they stick out like a sore thumb. They're like, you know, I mean like seven foot tall is far above and beyond the normal average of grocery store clients. So. And they always have to ask somebody and they explain to me who they were and things like that. But the year that they uh, went to the finals against, I believe, the 76ers, uh, that was a pretty crazy year in Milwaukee. Like, I lived there, I managed the grocery store, and, like, you know, obviously, you know, three of the four games or whatever were played at the Bradley Center, so. It was interesting stuff. Yeah, it was fun for the uh, it was fun for the employees and stuff like the 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 baggers and stuff. A lot of them were, you know, young men who were real basketball fans, and so like they get a kick out of like bagging famous people's groceries. I don't know. Again, it just didn't do anything to me. It like wouldn't have. Here we go. All right, so there's a hundred stars. So now we finish off the red coins, and we'll be good shape. See, that's pretty painless. And like I said, I in the past, before I realized uh, that you have to come in here, you know, during certain stars, uh, I had so a lot of trouble doing that. Where did we miss one? Huh. Okay. I mean, we could easily, if we gotten a blue coin from that guy, we'd be up to, like, 114, and we still got a red coin to get, so... Well, it's definitely not here. Or here. Jason Crow! Oh, okay, we never got this one. I was gonna say, I know where they all are in this level. So, yeah, 160... We easily have gotten 116 coins from this level, and I know that there's, like... There's other stuff. There's enemies outside you could beat up for coins and stuff, so. Alright, we got uh we got one star left. 
in my opinion, the most difficult star in the level, but it's just because of the timing. So, not a huge deal. We'll, we'll get it done. We'll make it work. Eye to eye in the secret room. I bet you this will involve an eye and a secret room. That's my guess. My supposition or my deduction. Yes. Yes. Now, what you have to do for this one, um... And actually, it's probably not a bad idea uh, if you can s scare them out to kind of take those books out if you can, but whatever. What we got to do is grab this cap and run back in there and jump up to the place where we got the blue coins in the last star. And then we'll be golden if we can do that. Ow! Foul! Uh, all right. You only really get like two tries at it. Maybe. Two might be an overestimate, actually. But whatever, then we just run back here, we hit it again, we'll try again. We'll get it eventually. It'll work. It's not nearly as painful as some failures I've had. Oh, come on, Mario. You know what this is, actually? This is just, I need to calm down. This is completely performance anxiety. When I was an actor, I never really, uh... Whoa! Okay, glitchy. When I was an actor, I never really had um, huge instances of sale of stage th fright. But like, I worked with I worked with a girl specifically who would puke before every time she went on stage. Like she just had to to like I guess you know relieve her upset stomach or something. But okay, here we go. And so now we've just got to make it around here and through this wall here. And then we're in the secret room and. See, here's another ghost we could have gotten for coins, if we wanted to, I suppose. There we go. But, I never really got stage fright, although I did drop a line on stage once. And... It felt like pure terror. Like pure deer in the headlights, I'm gonna die terror. And luckily, I was playing opposite a guy who, it was his first play ever, and he, he thought he had missed a line. And so he just spouted out some stuff to cover it up. And backstage, I apologized to him, and he was like, I didn't even notice. He's like, I thought I dropped my line. And apparently nobody noticed. Uh, but it was like maybe five seconds that in my head lasted minutes. I mean, half an hour of just me realizing how badly... Oh, yeah, we were lucky. We were so lucky. Oh my god, he's back! That bunny is back! Alright, we have two more stars in this level, uh, aside from the 100 coin one, and they both involve going into this volcano. So, as you all well know, I'm sure you all are just like, of course you go into the volcano. Uh, but yeah, otherwise I didn't get stage fright bad at all, like... But I mean, I never did really, like, serious kind of stuff. I don't know how I would feel, you know, like, opening night on, like, an off-Broadway play or something. I mean, I just did regional theater stuff. It wasn't... Uh, but I was a good studier. You know, I really learned my lines and things like that. And, you know, that one time I missed a line, which was in high school, like, I think my second play ever, uh, was the only time ever I missed a cue or a line or anything. Although you have good, better performances and worse performances, I mean, like, when everybody's working together and everything clicks and the timing is perfect, like, things run really well and good play runs itself. But, that doesn't happen as often as you would like. <laughs> Although maybe it happens for better actors, I don't know. Alright, well, let's try this other path. There's two paths in here. There's this disappearing platform path. And then the thing we just fell off of. The outside the edge path. I don't know. Both good options. 
We'll get the star out of one of them or die trying. I'll probably regret those words. Okay. Alright. We get onto this pole. This is the part that's a problem for me. I don't know if it'll be a problem for you. Oh yeah, that's completely a problem. Well, we landed back up here. I guess we'll finish this out. What the heck? Or we'll try. At least there'll be some coins up here so if we fall again, we won't die. Okay, this is where I lost it last time. You can tell because the coins reappear. No, Mario, no. If only Mario was voice controlled, it could hear me yelling at him. Ah, what a wonderful world it would be. Oh, we almost knocked her off there. Or it off, or him off, whatever. I like the lava volcano. And logically, you would melt in a place like this. I mean, like, it would, this is skin blistering heat. But not Mario. Okay, so there's our star. Hey, nice, we grabbed onto that thing. Awesome. Here we go. All right, so now we're limited to two stars in that level, and one of them's gonna be rough. Not so much rough as it's gonna be long. Um, so we're gonna go in here, and uh, I guess uh, you know what I think I want to do is I think I want to open the vault or open the pyramid. You know, we've got to do it eventually, right? Right? Respond to me. Don't make it seem like I'm crazy. Sorry, a lot of Twilight Zone recently. I know I've said that before, but it... Uh, like, every night now, it's become a ritual that I watch one of the original Twilight Zone episodes uh, on YouTube, so... And they're, I mean, they're amazingly brilliant. Every Rod Serling was a genius. <clears throat> I still can't get over the idea of, like, what if it was, like, the 60s, and you were at, like, a Hollywood party, and you were standing, like, two feet from Rod Serling, and he was talking to somebody else, and, like, all you could do is, like, in the background, you kept hearing his voice. Like, would you ever be able to shake, like, the feeling of the creeps you'd get? from that, from, like, hearing Rod Serling narration for, like, an hour at a party, even if, like, he wasn't talking to you. And that should have opened the volcano, right? Or the... the pyramid? It just seems to me that everything Rod Serling said was creepy. Like, not creepy because, he, like, but creepy in the way he said it. Alright, come on now, none of this. I don't understand why this hasn't popped open this volcano yet. Or the pyramid. Oh, there we go. Oh, no! Alright. Take two, people. Waha! I love it, Mario. I love it. So apparently, the the hit detection on whether you've gone over the top of those things is uh, needs a little help. What actually isn't a problem. You can walk very easily up these things uh, on the other side. The problem are these two that are surrounded by quicksand. All right, we did two passes over there. That should do it. Oh, I was yeah, I thought for sure that that Koopa shell was gonna break on that corner. But, like, over here, you can just literally run up these things. Oh, we almost knocked that thing out of the talons of the bird. I'll have to remember that. We just have to get over here and hang out. So, uh, now we can get onto the pyramid. Alright. Oh, come on. Alright, in we go. 